Okay, did a quick test out here on the side of the street. Um, all I got was a little bit of squeak. So I took the chambers apart, um, and I was actually amazed that they are like pretty much brand new inside. They're not, and nothing is showing any wear. Um, there was a little bit of corrosion in the back caps, a couple of them. Clean them up. Clean the silicone ring groove out. That one was all built up, pushing against the back of the diaphragm. That one, this one still looks like it's brand new. And the diaphragms, I was surprised to see that they are like brand new. Silicone's perfect on every one. Um, it shows a little bit of wear from the nozzle, but nothing you can even feel with your finger. With your, I don't got any fingernails, so I can't say I can't scratch it with my fingernail, but I rub your fingers over it, you don't feel anything. Silicone's perfect. So let's put it back together and try it again. Maybe without the corrosion, it will work better. Uh, one little hint thing here that um, I was taught. You have the um, hole for the spike. Okay. Um, when you put the diaphragm in, the little tiny hole in the diaphragm, you want to set that hole at 5 o'clock. So that would be, I got the diaphragm, let's put it the right way here. You can get it to stay. And you want to set the hole. You can see it at 5 o'clock. And that's where it wants to be. I was told that is the sweet spot. So there you have it. Let's put it back together. Try it again. Well, that sounds sweet now. Sounds a lot better than it did. I can't wait to get it out and really give it a try. That'll be coming up next. Alrighty, everybody. Happy day. Yeah. RS 3K. Um, or like I say, I was told it belonged to Tri-Rail. Number 705. Um, I've asked a couple of you people on YouTube that do um, Tri-Rail videos um, if they know anything about this horn. I want to like to really have a solid verification on it. Like I say, Florida, snow cones, go figure. All right, see ya.